In this video, you'll find out why the new moon in Cancer is inviting us to fully embrace the divine feminine within. What's up, Divine Tribe? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Gia. I teach meditation. I channel cosmic insights from the universe and I'm a sound healer using my voice. And today I have my singing bowl with me. So at the end of our meditation, I'll offer you a little sound healing sample. So today we're meditating on the new moon in Cancer, which is happening on Monday, July 20th, 2020. This is actually the second new moon in Cancer in a row. The last one was on the solstice on June 21st, a month ago. So this might feel like a little bit of deja vu or an echo of the themes that were going on for you one month ago. It's pretty rare that there's a double new moon in a sign. So I think we're getting a special opportunity to review what was going on a month ago and really wrap some healing, compassionate, loving energy around it. The new moon in Cancer last month was also an eclipse on the solstice, so the energy was really big last month, and this one's going to be a little gentler, a little softer. And it's also representing the end of a big era. For the last two years, we've been experiencing eclipses on the Cancer Capricorn axis and doing a lot of work around the divine feminine and the structures and divine masculine energy that have created our society. So this is the last moon in Cancer for the next six months, and I see it as really the end of a long labor process. We've sort of been in the womb and being birthed into this new version of ourselves, inviting more of the divine feminine energy into our lives and into our society. So Cancer is a water sign that represents emotions, home, family, the divine mother, sensitivity. And so over the last two years, we've had all these eclipses to help us open up that cancer energy of the divine feminine. And now that we're wrapping up all those eclipses for the past two years, and this is our final double new moon in cancer, we are leaving the womb and entering this phase where the divine feminine can be more present in our own lives and in our world. If you think about how the pandemic asked us to really slow down and go within and be in our homes and process our emotions, it's been a really important and helpful tool in developing that connection to our divine feminine qualities, which are nurturing being sensitive and emotional and intuitive, flowing in cycles and in waves instead of linearly like the divine masculine. So the last six months especially have been a huge invitation to invite more of the divine feminine into our world. And this cancer energy is sort of tying a bow on the process we've been in. We're leaving the womb and we're entering this new realm where we can embody the divine feminine on a daily basis. Now what's been coming up for me intuitively lately is the invitation from the universe to really slow down and remember that we have time, we have infinite time. Time is actually an illusion of this third dimensional realm and we're lifting into a new paradigm, a new dimension where there's more timelessness, more freedom, more spaciousness, because we're centered so fully in the present moment. This new moon in Cancer is opposite of Saturn. Saturn is the ruler of Capricorn. It's an earth energy that's very slow and structured and grounded. So with this new moon, we won't necessarily feel like we're blasting off just yet it's inviting us to take it slow and take our time. I know that it's been really challenging in our world to absorb everything going on, but this is such an important time to really pause and really absorb everything we're going through and experiencing. There's actually nowhere to get to. We're leaving a time where we've been focusing on the future and where we're going. We're entering a time where there's nowhere to go. We're already here. In fact, when we slow down and experience possibly the discomfort of the moment, we actually face exactly what it is that's in the way of us being in this space of bliss and peace. 
So everything we need to learn from and grow from is right here for us in the moment. There's nowhere to get to besides being here now. This has fully come into the light for me recently as I have felt the urge to push or rush certain things only to have my schedule open up or to be given more time or to realize I can take my time and I can slow down and just let the moment guide me and be in the flow of where the inspiration is taking me in this now. So it's really important to remember that the higher dimensions of consciousness are free from time. The future does not exist and in that way, neither does the past. Everything is all occurring now. This is the only moment that matters. This is the only moment that exists. And when we really hone into that power, This present moment is really all there is. And when we hone in on that focus and that power, all the bliss and peace and creativity and inspiration and healing that we're looking for is available to us. So we're leaving a time in the world where we had been focused on that linear drive of the masculine energy to get somewhere and create and produce something. And instead we're resting into the divine feminine quality of flowing with the tides in the moment, being receptive, being nurturing and open to what this moment is already offering us. So on this new moon in Cancer, take your time, go easy on yourself, do things that feel nurturing, focus on the beauty in your life and remind yourself that there's nowhere to get to, but right here, right now. And this moment offers you something beautiful. Before we meditate today, I would like to thank all of my patrons on Patreon who support this YouTube channel. If you too would like to support my channel, you can make a monthly donation through Patreon. Just go to patreon.com forward slash Divinely Gia, and in exchange for your donation, you'll get rewards from me, such as a shout out in the next video, meditation content that is exclusive to my patrons, and other opportunities to work with me one-on-one -on -one with spiritual coaching and intuitive healing. So if you would love to support my channel, just go to patreon.com forward slash Divinely Gia. Thank you guys so much for your support and your love. Okay, my friends, let's pull some cards for today's new moon meditation. I've got this healing mantra deck from Matt Kahn, who's one of my favorite spiritual teachers. And so far it's been really transformative to peek into. So let's close our eyes or just tune into the energy right now. Once again, this sacred divine moment is all there is. Whenever you're seeing this video, it's the perfect moment to tune in and receive some wisdom from these cards today. So thank you universe for the guidance that comes through. Healing heartbreak is the first card. My heart will love again. Wow. This is an invitation to keep your heart open to this next journey that you'll be embarking on. It kind of reminds me of letting anything of the past that was hurtful or harmful be healed and be forgiven and to expand your heart even more into the love that is present for you now. You know, the only way to really get through heartbreak is to let your heart love again and to remember that you're only breaking your heart open so that it can expand to hold more love. So this card to me is just a reminder that anything from the past that was hurtful is now invited into the ocean of forgiveness, compassion, and love in your heart, in the divine feminine heart. So our second card for this new moon in Cancer is hearing inner guidance. My intuition flows whenever I am still. Wow, perfect with this energy of slowing down around the new moon in Cancer. Clear guidance here that our intuition is on point. You know, this divine feminine intuition can be so much more deeply felt and heard when we are still, when we slow down, when we give ourselves time to receive. Beautiful. And our third and final card for the new moon in Cancer. Awakening inspired action. There is only what life is asking of me. Wow. I love that card. I haven't seen it just yet in the deck. 
So let's kind of unpack that a little bit. Awakening inspired action never shoulds, right? We never want to do something from the energy of a should or a have to. It's all about what inspires you, what brings you joy. This card, there is only what life is asking of me. And so when we really tune into the moment, we listen closely to what life is asking of us now. It's not so much about having a plan, right? That's the divine masculine energy of forward movement, goal setting. You don't have to figure out where you're going. You have to tune in with what this moment is asking of you. And sometimes it's asking for rest. Sometimes it's asking for feeling what's coming up or it's asking for creating something or watching something that makes you laugh, a silly movie, or, you know, there's infinite ways in which the divine inspires us moment to moment. And when we're present, we can really truly hear that guidance and know this is all there is this moment, just what I'm asked to do by the divine right here, right now. I don't have to have any answers for the future, just this now beautiful. I love these cards. They really speak to this new moon in cancer. So we have my heart will love again. My intuition flows whenever I am still. There is only what life is asking of me. I love it. Let's prepare to meditate. My friends find a comfortable seat or you can lie down. When you're there, go ahead and close your eyes. Tuning in with the body, let's allow more softness in. Softness that washes from the crown of the head over the face and just soothes the eyes and temples and softens the jaw, tongue and throat and melts the shoulders down. And this softness flows through your mind as well, calming and clearing your thoughts and it washes down through your throat softening your voice to be able to speak with the love in your heart. This softness washes into your heart center and opens it like a beautiful flower. This softness washes down your back and clears away any of the pressure, the weight you've been feeling on your shoulders, on your back to carry a certain weight in your life. That heaviness is melting away as you feel supported and you feel light. And the softness washes down through your arms and legs to your fingertips and toes until you are soft and open in your mind, body, and energy. This Cancer New Moon is an invitation to be soft, to feel the softness of the Divine Feminine And this Cancer New Moon is an invitation to be fully present, to be still and to take it slow, knowing that there's nowhere to go, nowhere to get to, but deeper into this now. So let's envision that the whole world has been spinning at this rapid pace of creation, consumption, destruction, forward movement that leads to just more chaos. The energy has been rising faster, vibrating more intensely. And we're just going to envision that the whole world is starting to slow down. Like the earth spins in slow motion. And the minds of all the people become quiet and soft. And the trees and the ocean and the plants and animals, everything begins to rest. Everything begins to soften. And as you tune in with the one divine breath that you are, the one breath of this moment, you start to synchronize and harmonize with the life all over the planet. And imagine that all beings are breathing in synchronicity so that there is one breath guiding all of us. There is one breath that brings us into this moment and into harmony. All the trees, all the flowers, 
the sunshine, the moon, the oceans, the forest, every heart, every being breathing this one breath together. So there is such divine union around the world and everyone's chaos and rapid motion have slowed into presence, stillness, and acceptance of this one moment that there is. And in this way, all beings are aligned with the divine plan. All beings are guided gently by the divine feminine energy, this invitation to be still, to receive, to honor the present. And so a deep sense of ease washes over you, knowing that you don't have to rush. You don't have to push. You are not going anywhere. You are being here. This is already enough. You are already enough. The answers and the keys lie right here, right now, in your heart. So dive into your heart. Keep diving deeper and discover the gems, the treasures, the answers that lie inside of you right now. So often we think, well, if I just get there, if I get to that place, if I achieve that thing or that outcome, I will have the answers I seek. I will have the satisfaction I seek. I will be happy then. I will be loved then. But we never reach that place because the answers we're seeking are already here in this now in your heart. And they may not be the answers your mind always wants, because those answers lie in an imagined future that is an illusion. So we let go of the illusion and the mind softens those questions that need answers. And instead, we find the deeper truth, the deeper keys to our journey that already lie in the heart. the notion that love is healing all. Our past is dissolved into the love in our hearts. Our hearts will love again. They are loving. They are love now. In this moment, we are still and our intuition flows. All there is is what life is asking of you right now. Trust. Trust what life is asking of you right now. Trust what your heart is guiding you toward right now. That's this invitation into the next realm of our world, of our human consciousness. Be with your angels and spirit guides, inviting any other wisdom to flow through you as you listen to the healing sound of my crystal singing bowl. never before that I am now blessed be and so be it I am the light the light I am and so it never before that I am now blessed be and so be it I am the light the light I am and so it is and so it is
you already are all that you came to be. And this adventure is lived one miracle at a time. Join palms together in front of the heart, acknowledging this divine light that you already are, this wisdom, this intuition that you already are, tapping into it and honoring it so it becomes clear what you are aligned with and what life is asking of you now. The light within me shines, connecting with your light. Your light shines, connecting with all light, and together we are one. Namaste. Ah, I feel so peaceful and so soft now and excited to enjoy whatever today is going to bring me, enjoy the beauty of this life, knowing that I have nowhere to rush to, nothing to hurry toward. This moment is all there is, and I'm just so grateful to share these inspirations with you. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you enjoyed this meditation, like the video, write me a comment below and share it with someone you know who might enjoy it as well. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram for more daily inspirations as I post there a lot more often. Follow me at divinelygia on Instagram. And if you'd like to support my YouTube channel, you can donate through Patreon. Just go to patreon.com forward slash Divinely Gia. I hope you guys have a wonderful new moon in Cancer. This is a time of deep reflection and living with simplicity. So I hope it is magical for you and I look forward to connecting soon. Much love you guys. Yeah,